Alright, welcome back. Uh, this is Anz J Minor. This is a progress update for the Cry Balloon add-on. As you may or may not be aware, I am not going to rest until we have skeletal animation in this thing. And, uh, well, one of the first things I started working on is we need a way to uh, pick frame ranges and name them for our animation clips. So let me bring that up here. Um, we've got our cube here that's got our animation involved in it. Okay. Let me go ahead and click on him. So you can see we got 100 frames. Uh, 41 goes up from 41 to 100 is going down. All right, now if we export this right now, uh, we'll just export you. Uh, what we end up with is just our, our library animation clips right here, you know, and it uses the name from the uh, animation My Act 2. Now, what we want to do, what we need is a way to uh, say we want uh, two animations, cube up and cube down. Now what we're going to do is uh, with our cube selected, uh, we'll just come over here to the menu, go to add anim node, which is uh, the most logical thing I could think of, and it'll ask us our animation name, we'll call it cube up, and we'll choose our frames. Uh, starting frame will be 1, end frame will be 41, and then we click on OK. Now what this will do is it makes us an anim node here, and it parents it to the cube. Now if we want to do another one for the animation down, uh, we just make sure that our cube is the only thing that's selected, and then we come back in here, add anim node, and we go to, uh, we name it cube cube down choose our frame range which would be uh, 42 to uh, 100 click on OK and it adds another one now you haven't got to worry about the name of this because uh, we're just looking for the first part where it says anim node and of course uh, if you uh, end up with an issue later on where you accidentally picked out the wrong path all you got to do is go to custom properties and uh, edit the end and start frame right there okay now when we go to export it this time however click on export to game we'll look at our collada file as you'll notice here we've got two animation clips first one's cube up gives us our start and end time start would be 041 which is frame one and uh, 41 is apparently 1.70 seconds gives us our cube location for that time range and then we have our other one cube down and it goes to there. Now, you're asking, well, what if I have an entire scene? Say I've got a windmill and I want to have the blade spinning as well as going back and forth. Well, if we don't have anything selected and we add our anim node, uh, sorry about that, it will go ahead and just add it to the scene. Um, total animation, one to 100 and it'll just add it on up in there ah hold on a second all right there we go make sure we have no active objects <laughs> and then uh, well the cool thing about this is all you gotta do is select it if it does accidentally parent it to something you just select it and break the parenting and it puts it to the root And uh, as you can see, oh, well, I guess it went ahead and did that anyway. It did it for us. It just didn't update it here. But anyway, right there it is. And as you can see, it's right here in our custom properties. It gives us our, our name and our frame range. And when you export it, that's what you'll end up getting from uh, in the sandbox when you set up your play animation in your flow graph editor. Well, that's it. Uh, that's the progress so far. Uh, when I get this finalized, i got to run a few tests, but when I finish this up, I'll release a CryBlend 3.3. And uh, this, the next uh, release after that will be the one with skeletal animation, because uh, the reason why I'm releasing the 3.3 is because this is relevant to what we have so far. You know, being able to pick and choose. Say we've got a door here. And we've uh, tweened our open and close animation. 
Uh, we want to be able to pick an open animation frame range and close animation and frame range. And uh, that'll, that'll work for us. Anyway, uh, this is NJ Minor. You guys have a wonderful Mother's Day. Uh, have fun. Look for this uh, update. And uh, I'm busy at it. Have a good one.